What's up Metas, Hod here and finally we have that news on the new PvE scenario. The way of winter is coming. The new PvE season has been announced, planned for October. So do not fret, PvE is getting a new season. But obviously first the PvP Prism scenario will come in September. So let's take a look at the way of winter and see what the devs just announced and showed us on their live stream that they just did and they cover what to expect from it and a few other interesting tidbits. So we're gonna cover that and we're gonna cover some more details from the other seasons and even more detail on what these season changes will look like. If you guys are as excited about Once Human's future as I am, make sure to smash a like and subscribe and let's talk about the way of winter. So on the live stream, the devs just announced and talked about some of the details of how this new PvE scenario will look. Called the way of winter, a scenario about freezing winter and harsh survival conditions. Yeah, that sounds like um, there's a survival challenge will mm -hmm. be. Uh, it's kind of. I think it's going to be a, a lot tougher than the current one. Mm -hmm. um, and they are saying that the way of winter will have a new temperature system. So to survive, you'll need the right amount of armor or potions. And they also say it's going to affect the way your base works. So with the livestock, they say it's going to change the way your livestock works and the way certain facilities work on your base. They also say there's going to be new puzzle chests and a bigger server capacity. So there's a lot of changes coming. But they do say later in the video and in the live stream that there's a lot of assets and things they need to make. And so that they were kind of hinting that this might be slightly delayed. So I'm going to say tentatively October. And that's why they haven't announced it in the roadmap as a actual date. Because I think this content is a little bit further off. But at least for all of us, for all of the PvE players, myself included, I'm going to be over there as well for this. Um, it's going to be, it's on the horizon. So at least we know something is coming and it's going to be a huge shake up to the meta and it's going to be a complete different gameplay loop. So we'll have to deal with the temperature. You know, it's going to be a lot more of a survival feel, I think, which is going to be great. So I'm really looking forward to this. Are you guys excited for the way of winter? What do you guys think about the first, the first new PVE scenario that we're going to get? It's interesting that they're separating the two because I feel like it'd be great to actually be able to do PVP on these scenarios in some ways. So it looks like even if you're a PVP player or a PVE player, to get the absolute most out of Once Human, you're actually going to jump across to each scenario. So, you know, one season's gonna be PVE and one season's gonna be PVP because I don't wanna miss out on this content. So I'm a PVP player, but I'll be jumping across to it. So it's very interesting. Um, Especially with Once Humans PvP, because Once Humans PvP is so opt-in, they could easily translate it to this. But I'm excited either way. I hope you guys are too. So now we've covered the way of winter. Let's talk now about the other seasons and what they mentioned. They're calling it a scenario blast, and they say from August to October, we'll have three different launches and different scenario tags. So you'll have different tags to choose from. And so one of those scenarios is obviously going to be the PvP Prism scenario. The other one's going to be the Way of Winter. And the first one we're going to get is a hard mode on the current scenarios, but also a different version of them as well with the different changes to the Cradle and Mematics is how I understand it. But again, it was very unclear in the interview. I'll show you guys the clip. August to October is a period of scenario blast. During those three months, we were launching three different things. In August, after the first season ends, once human will introduce the scenario tags. So you will firstly have two tags to choose, which will, which will, which will bring the change uh, for the credo and mimetic. It will change the elite bus. It will change the gacha pool and also the deviation. So the gameplay content will vary quite a lot and give you more fun in building a different stream and you can create a new story. And there also be a normal and hard mode for the two existing scenarios, uh, the many bus and also the evolution score. So we're basically getting a new spin on the current scenario. We're gonna get a hard difficulty and we're gonna be able to choose from a different version of that scenario as well. So it's kind of nearly four scenario blasts in a way, if you think of it like that. 
So to clarify, we basically have a, another season on the current seasons of Manubis and Evolution's Call with a slight change to flavor, hard difficulty, or a different version with different pneumatics and cradle perks. Or you can wait till the next season and wait it out for four weeks. And hopefully, I reckon it's going to be mid-September when we get the next scenario blast, which is the PvP prison scenario. So then you'll be able to join that. And then in October, probably mid-October to late, I would say, considering they were emphasizing be patient, then the way of winter scenario. So that is a bit more clarity and also I would say a bit more confusion on the scenarios. But I mean, I'm still excited. I can't wait. And we'll find out on August 18 what these new tags will look like for the current scenario of Manubis and Evolution's Call. So it's going to be very interesting, but I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of the Way of Winter because it looks amazing. And I wanted to update you guys with this new information about the scenario blast that they're calling it. And we still didn't have as much clarity as we do of what to expect. So we do have a season in between the new PvP event. So lots of stuff happening. Obviously, there's also the farming and ranching coming in this new patch. And there's new PvP team event. There's some crazy stuff happening. I won't cover it all in this video. I've covered it in the last video. If you guys missed that, make sure you watch it. Link in description. And I'll be obviously covering it after the patch as well. I am so pumped for the future of Once Human. They are doing some awesome stuff here and they're just listening to the community, which is great to see. You don't see many dev companies, many games publishers doing this. And so I am so hyped and that's why I'm so passionate for this game because I'm having a blast on PvP and I'll be across to PvE and I hope everyone in these communities can join hands and we can sing Kumbaya because we don't have to be against each other. We're, we're all together and I hope maybe we see some more like you know cross pvp and pve selective options for these pve scenarios for pvp players it'll be interesting to see how that sort of pans out in the future but it's going to be interesting again just be patient it may be delayed but this is the way of winter and what is coming smash the like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one